Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of the back of my van. So there's the back of the van. Start from this side. I've got my set of steps. I've got my bronze wool pad here. My poles are in setting um, a bit of gutter that I've mounted onto the side and that just keeps them straight. Uh, I've got a Harris pole there for cleaning gutters and an extension pole there to go on my SLX. I've also got a pole there with a DA component spray nozzle on it for when I'm using chemicals and a quick lock attachment there so when I'm using my doodle bug with a scraper on it or pads on it. Uh, got the steps there. Most important thing I think is Doofus, my canine uh, security unit here. He always lets me know if anybody's around near the van at all. Stops people from coming in when the doors are open. If I drop down, I've got my two pumps there. I only actually use the one at the moment but it is set up for two people. Next to the pumps, I've got my digital TDS meter. And then this here is a thermometer telling me my water temperature in my tank. So when I've got the immersion heater on, uh, it tells me how warm it is. Drop down, uh, the two flows come from around the side where they're fed from the tank. And this one, at the moment, I've got a um, filter on it. Uh, the other one hasn't at the moment, but that's something to be fitted in the future. Come over to the side here. I've got my shelves. At the top there I've got all my chemicals, uh, next shelf down I've got spare brushes, this one here I've got scrims and spare cleaning pads and a couple of high vis vests and then a spray bottle for spraying small jobs. Hand tools, uh, bigger tools, that's plumbing and that's uh, brushes and electrical. Coming back out I've got my hose reel here. It's my DIY powered hose reel. If you haven't already seen that, have a look at that video. Uh, it's been quite good. Now on the side here, I've got two switches. One is for the lights on the shelves and the other is for the lights in the back of the van. Coming down from the switches, I've got a voltmeter which tells me the power in my battery so you know when it needs charging. Although it is on a split charger, I do give it a charge once a week. Uh, just to keep the power up because I only do short journeys. I've then got my fuse box. That's all fed from one common feed from the battery uh, and then one common neutral from the battery and that saves me having loads of cables all attached onto the battery. Uh, it's got six ports in it for all the different fuses and then when one of them goes it'll actually light up a little LED light there so you can tell which fuse has gone. I've got my old faithful Varistream controller here. I don't think you can get these anymore, but this one's about uh, 10 years old now. I use that all the time, that's my daily pump. And then I've got a second Varistream controller there, digital, for when I've got somebody working with me. Coming down here, I've got a master switch. That turns everything off. So, yeah, at the end of the day, you can just flick that and all the feeds go off. That's wired straight into the fuse box. Everything goes off, so you've got no drain on your uh, leisure battery. So thanks you for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, if there's anything that you think I ought to do to the van, if you put a comment below, uh, that would be appreciated. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is that uh, the tank is still only strapped down. But hopefully, coming up later on in the year, I'm going to be doing a video on a homemade tank cage. Um, if you did find it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. That would be very appreciated. appreciated. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, YouTube will notify you every time I release a video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.